By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim. Welcome to another Timmy's Top 10. And for today's top 10, we are looking at the 10 best Halloween cards in old school Magic the Gathering. On number 10, we have the card Ghost Ship. And obviously I've chosen this card because of its connection with ghosts and they're in between worlds. They're between the living world and the world of the dead. So that's why we find it here on number 10. On number nine, we find the card Haunting Wind. And as you can see on the card, it's kind of two spirits that are haunting an object. And also when you look at what the card does, it's kind of like each time an artifact in play is tapped for its activation cost, Haunting Wind does one damage to the artifact's controller. So this kind of reminds me of those stories where like a little boy buys a toy from a flea market or you have this haunted house with all these haunted objects because they're linked to these bad spirits that cannot leave the object and when you use it you kind of get haunted as well so that's why it's here on uh, number nine very very scary card on number eight we find the card abomination and it's a card from legends and the reason i've chosen this card is purely um, just because it's so gross i mean what you want is when you think of halloween you think of gross monsters and also when we talked a little bit about Samheim and the reason why people would dress up it was basically to scare off spirits or to make them think that they're also spirits so they wouldn't be noticed so this also kind of looks like a mask i mean if somebody could make an abomination mask for halloween that would be like a super good outfit i think for for halloween so we find abomination here on number eight on number seven, there's a card that you might not have expected to see in this list, and it's Reincarnation. And uh, you don't see this card often when you're playing old school Magic. As a matter of fact, I've never seen it being used in an actual game. But I think what the card does, and also the art, really fits to Halloween. So what we see is this, the, the art is kind of very, very scary, actually. You, you see this man with an arrow in his head. Obviously, he just died. He just got the arrow in the front of his head. And then we kind of see a spirit there in the middle. And this is the spirit. It looks a bit like the spirit of the man. But when we look at the creature on the right, this kind of this lion creature, it also resembles the lion creature. As a matter of fact, the man and the lion kind of look alike. And then when we see what the card does, reincarnation, it reads, if target creature is placed in a graveyard this turn, bring a creature from that graveyard directly into play under the control of the owner of the target creature. So you can kind of swap souls in a way. So it's almost like the soul of the power of the soul of the man that died is now being transferred to this dead creature that's coming to life so it's being reincarnated anyway it really kind of reminded me of this whole theme of the dead and the living and also just the artist is so old school and so scary so that's why we find it here on number seven and on number six we find a card from the dark for three black it's an enchantment and it's called season of the witch it's a pretty cool card and I mean, I don't really have to explain why this is Halloween. This card basically is Halloween. It's, you know, witches are part of the Halloween tradition, obviously. Um, and also you can see the orange. And when you look closely, you can see it's actually a skull. So it's a skull looking over a wood. And there in the bottom of the card, you can see like little orange dots that kind of look like eyes. So it kind of looks like an army of, well... I'm not sure if they're zombies, but they're not really looking that friendly and they're coming directly at you. So this is really a scary card and it deserves its spot here on number six. On number five, we're finding the card Headless Horseman. And obviously the tail of Headless Horseman, this ghost rider, is really this, this tail that connects well with Halloween. Halloween is all about these spooky horror stories and the story about Headless Horseman is definitely one of them. But also when we look at the art, I mean, it's just very spooky you don't see an actual head you just see some blood there where the head used to be um this lovely drawn intimidating uh horse there this this big strong horse with the headless horseman on top of it so i really think this is when you look at it you, you kind of think of halloween it, it always reminds me of halloween so the headless horseman here in this top 10 so let's continue to the next card and that's Scape Zombies here on place number four. And Scape Zombies is this traditional card from Alpha, a, a vanilla creature. 
22 and when you look at it you see zombies obviously there's a clear connection with Halloween you know the dead coming back to life and when you look at the back you kind of can see the tombstones where they're coming from so they really just woke up at their graves and they're now okay let's party there are six in total so it's quite like a boy band here and um, the, the person on the front always kind of freaks me out the way he looks at me uh, with those beady eyes and before we move on I just quickly want to read the flavor text to you because I find it like really um, just fantastic they groaned they stirred they all uprose nor spake nor moved their eyes it had been strange even in a dream to have seen those dead men rise Samuel Coleridge the rhyme of the ancient mariner and before we start with the top three of this list, I just quickly want to go through some honorable mentions. And the first honorable mention is the Ghosts of the Damned. The second one is Cosmic Horror. And the third one is Hell's Caretaker. And I also have a number four, Lost Soul. And Samite Healer. And that is because when you look closely, you can see a spirit in the smoke. And also scavenger folk. It's just a very scary looking lady man, man lady, lady man. I mean, I think it's a lady. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And 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 she is not holding her own hand. And then we go to number three, and there we find Frankenstein's monster. Now, first off, uh, I'm not gonna read what it actually does, cause I mean that's like reading a book to you. I'm just gonna focus on the art here. Now, obviously, Frankenstein is this traditional horror story um it really reminds me of halloween uh, there are always movies that they're sending out uh, that they're showing of frankenstein's monster during halloween um it just it breathes halloween i don't really think i have to explain why it's here on number three and now let's go to number two and there we will find silhouettes and silhouette is again one of those cards that i've chosen purely based on the art and based on today's traditions because I mean when you look at it it reminds you of a jack-o-lantern so this is one of those cards that when you when you look at it you immediately think of Halloween and I'm sure that Kaya Foglio the artist was inspired by the jack-o-lantern when um, drawing the art for this specific card and then on number one there's only one card there's only one card you can put here which is of course All Hallows Eve the name fits the art fits what it does fit the artist is a legend in old school magic and magic in general christopher rush this is of course the halloween card for the ones that don't know uh what it does i'm just gonna read it uh, now it says put two counters on this card remove a counter during your upkeep when you remove the last counter from all hollows eve all players take all creatures from their graveyards and put them directly into play treat these creatures as though they were just summoned you choose what order they come into play which i think is pretty cool when you have like um in play effect effects so that's that's pretty nice uh anyway all hollows eve this was actually the number one spot was the easiest um was the easiest uh, choice to make in this list that's what i'm trying to say here so all hollows eve on number one thank you for looking at my top 10 list of halloween cards in old school magic let me know what you think of my list are there any cards that i've completely missed because there are just so many fantastic great looking pieces of art in these sets um is there one in there that you think well you know why did you put that card in and you haven't put another card in um yeah let me know i'm curious um, i'm sure you agree with my number one pick or maybe you don't maybe you can let me know why and what is your personal favorite halloween card in magic i'm curious uh so leave a reply i'd love to hear from you if you want to support me if you want to support the channel uh, you can do so by leaving a like leaving a comment um becoming a member of the channel a subscriber if you're not yet a subscriber um for now thank you for watching this episode of timmy talks the channel where we talk old school magic and see you next time <laughs>